his mana, but he's going to be fine as he just simply walks away from it. And, well, with that, they actually pop the bar There's time the with a toss. Time. So, yeah, good lead, initial lead in. Set but here we go. Tiny. LSA, Fog to go immediately for the relocate, but he gets stunned in an RP. Set up for Willies. Very nice charge forward. Gets it done. They pop the wisp ball. Merlini has to walk in behind the trees and try to hide himself out. But look at Tiburon just muscle his way on forward. Pops oh. out the quills. Slaughters one. Looking to go for another. Money's going to be very low. The quills are stacking up, and they should be able to bring him down. But he's able to pounce away from this Merlini. Forcing the bristle to get his hands full. And now Merlini walks away with 20 life. 20 life. He's going to be able to make it on out unless Tiburon cuts him off. No, he is sticky. still on route, but the slow. They want to turn back and get a kill. Here's Merlini. Ha! Oh, Go! Merlini, no! He gets quilled in the face and taken down. Oh, oh what a poor play oh, that was. Tiburon's still run. alive. They bring down the Bat Rider. Slurk comes in, finishes off the street. And Juan will TP out. It was a pretty even fight, but all of a sudden, Boreal get two freebies at the end. Sure. Slark ends up Man, Susie shot to the face. That TC is. already used his fire flight trying to get a hold of someone. His haste is about to deplete. They can't do anything. They're losing Levine. the racks. There's the jump. They get a hold and pull back Tiburon. Can they bring down the, the RP? There's the RP. Connects on two, and now it's their turn to turn it around, but they get blown up. Tiburon barely alive at this point. Manages to take TC down with them. Merlini going to get healed up from Fog. Fog, the tether's going to close. He's got to reopen it once more. Dewey barely alive. Steps back and away. And Nori also. So right in the mix, it's Monib who's able to clean it on up with his Slark. Lena's got to get the hell out of there. And well, damage. Merlini and Fog have been doing work in the mid lane, adding the pressure there and waiting until they must bring them back. But they might lose a Rax in exchange while going for a tier 2 in the mid lane. Their Rax are in trouble. They TP back. It's not even a relocate. The Barracks destined to fall here. A few more auto attacks ought to do it. Dewey and Tiburon taking a lot of damage. Slark blinks into the back line but doesn't find anyone. Now stunned up. Could be in some trouble. No ulti to reset. It is Boreal on the defensive. They will start to back out knowing there's no lasso. They should feel a little more safe to turn and fight. BKB turned on by Tiburon. It's Monib going in very deep right onto the bench. But he gets juiced by the laser again. And Slark will buy back after going down. Tiny is isolated by a Yules. They've gotten the line on the backside. Now maybe Merlini could be in trouble. There's your borrowed time oh. on to Dewey. Now he's on the run. We'll see Willez TP out. And they just want to prevent this Slark from finding any kind of recovery kills off that buyback. Dewey may be the casualty left behind here. Looks like they will cut their losses. Looking for the deny, but can't get it off. Everyone will TP out. Tiburon included. Still a great fight for Boreal. They get the barracks. They kill the this tower just gets chunked down so quickly. Only a thousand hit point or six hundred hit points left. Merlini doing a little split push down bottom. Has his wisp buddy there. They'll have to wait for the next creep wave in the mid lane before they can shove into the tower. But this tower is going down quick. Yeah, they'll get the tower fast on bottom. Whoa, bottom one hit kill. Tether, but oh, they get another one shot onto the line. It looks like take him out of the picture. Oh, 40 seconds. Glyph. Does have a buyback. The glyph's going to be used. And now pressure onto the tier three as it goes down. Rax is exposed. They've already taken one set of Rax out on the bottom. And meanwhile, Tiny, they're still pushing the mid lane. But action continues mid. TC, TC makes a jump down. in and he gets dropped immediately. Swap back. Monib could be in trouble. He has to pounce to make it out of there. He goes down. Oh, relocate onto Dewey. That's the worst target to go on. Now Boreal can reset this fight. There's your Aegis. Merlini getting low. He's slowed down by the sticky. Moni bought back to get into this fight. Batrider still stuck in the grave. There will be five alive for Boreal outside of the base. They find a lion. And Inori, I think, going to pay with his life. No, they let him live. They want the barracks. The smart play from Boreal. They're playing objective gaming here. They get a mid lane of barracks. Their mid lane stays standing. Tiburon caught inside of the pounce from Slark. He may fall here, but it's okay. Boreal got what they came for. The laser they bring down. Tiny Susie with the BKB on. Just throwing the fireballs at Fog. He'll live for now. The Yules. Oh, no. It's on a creep. They wanted it on Monib. It's a misclick, but now Slark is here. Magnus back in the party. He comes skewering on in, and it's going to be to his death. Monib cleans up the team, but they lose their melee barracks. Will he get the rampage Come here, on, baby. Juan? Come on, baby. Boom. Rampage. That's what I'm talking about. They need it so so bad, but the damage has been done. Is it too little? First yeah. time he did. Slark, as well as the lion, had to buy back to make that whole thing happen. So, 
It did end up well from Onib Bure, but it cost them quite a bit. Boreal still get a lot. There is a ranged barracks still standing mid, but ah, who cares about a ranged barracks? Now the tier three in the mid lane for the Radiant will be in some trouble. Tiny to mid? Why not, right? Yeah, they've got a couple of buybacks here. They're doing it. They're going to relocate him bottom, and they're going to go right for the tier three there. All right, mid lane. The ranged barracks go down. Tier three falling very quickly in the bottom. The relocate out. Will they leave the tiny behind? They will. Bat Riders here, Lasso on to Juan. Merlini just focusing the structures. He gets the ranged barracks, but if they can punish this, this could be bad news bears. Merlini now on the run with support inbound. 747, Shadow Bladed up, trying to press forward. There's your Yules on the Bat Rider. They'll punish TC. He's got the BKB, though. He lives for now. Moniv goes in, trying to focus Suzy. Swap across the way. It'll cost the Venge's life. The BKB on Moniv, keeping him alive for now. But can they get this fight going? The skewer on the illusions, not what Willez was hoping for. Moniv still just kiting around. Dewey does not have a borrowed time here. He's about to get cleaved down by Tiny. He's dead. This could be bad for Boreal here, Coddle Guy. They are playing with fire quite literally. There's the Yules on the Bat Rider. They're just trying to survive to regen back up in the well. Buyback was already used by the Abaddon. Now he TPs in. They want to punish this. Slark goes jumping into the tier fours, finds the kill on the Lina. Now a buyback on her. They have to buy back because Merlini's going for the Rex now on bottom. If they win this fight and take them down, they could just take this game back. Susie's very low, is able to get off the right click. Finger flies, takes down a bat into buyback for him, die back down. They are able to bring down Merlini. He does have a buyback if necessary. Slark does not. Both melee barracks are still standing. It's only range that went down very easily, but this is a big gamble. You'll get the Radiant Vision. They're totally blind. Dire, they break the smoke and they, they see him. They see swap. Slark and they swap him right back oh disaster oh my god he's able to shadow dance the rp's not going to be there and he just makes his way on out but bkb wasted by tc it didn't come for free now in nori he gets left behind that'll be the first pickoff bkb used by tiburon sees the tiny dewey in the front line so he'll be the first target that's your borrowed time now Moni bkb on he goes down he's got a buyback as does the lion it's a 5v5 back in this fight finger on to dewey and tiburon Maybe in some trouble here. Merlini in hot pursuit. Avalanche up in two. They trade their Abaddon. Whoa, Juan. He's in deep. He wants TC. One more auto attack will do it, but he's stunned up. And the Bat Rider lives. It's a two for two, but it's Maneem Murray that used the buybacks. They got to get to that pit right now. Out from Maneem Murray. Hmm, he's going to hit so freaking hard. Radiant ping out the mid barracks, and Maneem Murray running towards... The They're mid going barracks inside as the well. Base. They're in the base of Moni Bure at the you same You do not moment. want to base a race this. It's, it's a, a racer. DD Tiny's going for it. They oh, okay. Need to immediately. They are going for it here. Magnus with a big RP skewer back. Is it enough to buy them the time they need? Moni getting low. Juan's there as well. Meanwhile, at the dire base, it's just TC. Lasso on to 7 3 or 7 4 7. They're going straight for the throne, though. Once they get down these tier 4 towers, Will is trying to make as much space for his team as he can, but Merlini, he's just the Whomping Willow. Barracks or the throne. They're already hitting the shrine on the dire side, though. They're this is close. It so low. It's so close. Buyback on the Magnus. Radiant might be able to win this. They're doing a lot of damage. It's going to be Boreal that takes it. It's a 2 0. And Monique oh Beret eliminated. Are you kidding me? A tiny loses a base race with a double damage. Magnus, he was the one that made the plays there. The skewer on three, the RP. What? A closer to that game.